of our English textbook that is name of the chapter is a gift of chapels this chapter is of one girl mritu she was living in chennai with her grandmother and grandfather in tamil it is called tapi grandmother means tapi and tatha means grandfather one afternoon tapi takes her to her aunt rukumani's house one afternoon her tapi that grandmother took her to amritu to her aunt rukumani's house to meet her cousins lalli ravi and meena right uh, she went with her grandmother to her aunt rukumani's house to meet her cousins ravi lalli and meena now let's start the chapter a gift of chapels a smiling rukumani threw upon open the door ravi and meena rushed out and ravi pulled mrit mridu into the house uh, rukumani met smile she opened the door and ravi and meena rushed out ravi and meena come out and ravi she uh, he pulled mridu into the house usne meena mridu ko khincha wait let me take off my slippers protested mrit mridu now what as ravi pulled her what she did let me take out my chair slippers she set them out neatly near a pair of large black ones those were gray actually with dust and now mrithu arranged her slippers neatly she arranged near by one slippers which was big large in size and color it was looking gray but actually it was looking gray because of the dust you could see the clear mark of toe on the front part of each slipper and on each slipper the front part of toe was looking right the marks for the two big toes were long and scrawny and the large the mark on the slippers was large and scrawny scrawny means thin means the person who has put on the slippers was very thin unke pair patle patle honge Now what happened? Mridu didn't have much time to wonder about whose slippers they were because dra- the Ravi dragged her to the backyard behind a thick bitter berry bush. Now Mridu didn't have much time to look whose slipper are these, whose these old slippers are. But because Ravi dragged her to the backyard, Ravi ne usko khinch ke piche le gaya. Backyard means piche. Behind a thick bitter berry bush, bush के पीछे उसको खींच के वो ले गया. There, inside a torn football lined with sacking and filled with sand, lay a very small kitten lapping up milk from a coconut half shell. And there, what she saw, in one torn football was there, and inside that torn football, and uh it was filled with sand right and on that one kitten was clapping up milk what a kitten ka means kitten means cat baby kitten was there and drinking milk from the coconut half shell coconut ka jo half shell hota hai usme wo kitten milk pee raha tha we found out said so uh, we found him outside the gate this morning he was moving and moving towards the thing said meena it's a secret now what meena said to mridu that we have found this kitten in the morning right and uh, it was moving a uh, meow meow no i'm doing meow 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 again and again right and uh, we found out this morning near the gate outside the gate Now what Nina said it's secret because Amma says Mathe will live for Paddu Mama's house if she knows her. If she knows we have a cat. Now uh, what Nina said it's a secret. We have secret means they didn't inform about this kitten to anyone in the house. Why? Because their Amma, their mother says that Pati, Pati means grandmother in Tamil, right? she will leave to the paddu mama she will leave their place if she will come to know that some pet that they have 
cat in the house. People are always telling us to be kind to animals. But when we are, when we are they scream, Oh, don't bring that dirty creature here, said Ravi. Now Ravi argued that always our elders advise us be kind to animals, help them, save them, right? But when we do the same action, we do, uh, we help animals, we save them. When we become kind to them, they scold us. Our elders scold us. And what they said? Don't bring these creatures in the house. Do you know how hard it is just to get a little milk from the kitchen? Pati saw me with a glass in my hand just now. I told her I am very hungry. I want to drink it. But the way she looked at me, I had to drink most of it. Throw her off the scent. Now what Ravi said, it is very difficult to bring a glass of milk for this tiny creature. Right? And uh, it, what she said? And he said that my party, she saw me that I have taken glass of milk. But I told her that I am hungry. So I have taken this glass of milk. And I have to drink it. But she look, but Tarpi looked at me. She was doubted. She, she was suspected me. Usko doubt thank you for. And then she wanted the tumbler back. Pati, Pati, I will wash it myself. Why should I put you to trouble? Now, Pati has doubt on Ravi that he is hiding something. So, what she said? You just give me the tumbler back. Tumbler means in which he has taken the he has taken milk. So, what Ravi said? That Pati, I will wash it. I don't want to give you any trouble. I told her I had to run and pour the milk into the this coconut shell and then run back and wash the tumbler and put it back before she got really suspicious. Now what Ravi said, Ravi said that uh, I have to uh, I have kept the, I have to keep this uh, milk in the shell fast I have to move into the kitchen I have to wash the tumbler and keep it at proper place before party get doubt on me. Right? Party ko mere upar really koi Doubt ho, right? Suspicious ho, ho, ho suspicious ban jai. Before that, I have to keep the tumbler in the kitchen. Now we have to think of some other way to feed Mahindran. Now the, they have given name Mahindran to this kitten. So what he said that we have to think another way how we will feed this Mahindran. Mahindran, this little kitty's name is Mahindran. Mridu was impressed. It was really name, not just a cute kitty cat name. So now Mridu asked Mahindran, name of this little creature is Mahindran. Wow, it's a very cute name for this cute tiny creature. Actually, his full name is Mahindra Varma Pallava Punnai, MP Punnai for short if you like. He is a fine breed of cat. Now what Ravi said? His full name is Mahindra Burma Pallava Punai, M.P. Punai. In short, you can call him M.P. Punai. Now, he is a fine breed of cat. Or a very good cat breed se belong karta hai. Just look at his fur like a lion's man. What Ravi said, look at his fur. Uske fur dekho, lion ke main ke jese hai. And you know what the emblem of the ancient Pallava king was. And what Ravi asked, do you know the, what was the ancient Pallava king's emblem was? Don't you? He looked expect, expectantly at Mridhi. And he asked, don't you know what was the emblem of the Pallava's king? Mridhi giggled. Mridhi giggled means she laughed. Think I am joking? Well, just wait. I will show you sometime. It's clear you don't know a thing about history. No? Uh, now, Ravi asked Mridu, Why are you laughing? Do you think I am joking? Well, wait just for a minute. I will show you something. I will show you something. It's clear you don't know anything about history. You know that you don't know anything about history. 
Haven't been to Mahabalipuram, have you? He said mysteriously. And then Ravi asks to Mridu, Have you seen Mahin, uh, Mahabalipuram? It is Puram or not? I saw a statue of his tathas, 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 etc., etc. Fact is, Mahendra is a descendant from that very same ancient king. And what did what Ravi said that I have visited Mahabalipuram and this cat, right? His tatha, tatha, tatha means his grandfather, 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 grandfather. They are they are from the Mahabalipuram, and this cat is very ancient cat. And he is, the cat is descended from the ancient cat, right? And a close relative, scientifically speaking, of none other than the lion. And this cat, it's a close relative of lion, right? It is very close relative of lion. And what he said that this cat belonged to the old emblem of Pallava's dynasty. Right means it is a close relative of lion. Emblem of Pallava dynasty is lion, and this cat belonged to that lion family. Right? Ravi went on and walking around the bitter berry bush, waving a twig up and down his eyes, sparkling. Now Ravi was moving around the bitter berry bush. This cat is descendant of none other than Mahabalipuram Rishi cat. Now what he said, this cat is descendant of Mahabalipuram Rishi cat. Rishi cat, who is Mahabalipuram ki, uske family se this cat is belonging. Right? And if I may just remind you, they worship cats in ancient Egypt. And ancient Egypt may, ancient time mein, Egypt may, people were worship cats. Now next is, how he loved the sound of his own voice. Meena and Ritu exchange looks. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, I am telling you, this cat is descended from the Egyptian cat god. No goddess, uh, bastard. Yeah, that's it. So, see, Egypt, uh, now what he said, now Ravi was saying that, this cat is descended from Egyptian cat god. Ab aisa bolta hai ke wo Egyptian cat god means goddess se belong karta hai. Right? So, well, one of the descendant of that cat goddess was thrown away in one of the Pallava shapes and his descendant was the Mahabali Puram Rishi cat whose descendant is. Ab usne, now Ravi was said that Egypt may cat ko pray karte the in ancient time. Right? And unke goddess, they consider as a goddess. Now, one egg cat ship may gumte gumte Mahapalipura agai. Right? And his descendant was the Mahapalipura Mishi cat. Or usi jo cat Egypt se ship may Mahapalipura agai, uske descendant hai this Rishi cat. Right? Now, Ravi flourish his twig at Mahindra. MP Puna here, who? He stood very pleased with him. And as and this cat is the descendant of Mahapalipuram Rishi cat. I repeat again, students. See, in Egypt, in the ancient time, people worshipped cats as a god or goddess. Now, what Ravi said that one of the cat, right, uh, in the ship, come to the, means chupte chupate, come to the Mahapalipuram. And Mahapalipuram, the Rishi cat, is there right? Who is this cat? The descendant. Well. Now this kitten is the descendant of Rishi. Mahabalipuram ke jo Rishi cat hai, uska ye descendant hai. Mahendra looked up alarmed. He had just been sharpening his claws on the edge of coconut shell, but worse than Ravi's awful uh, whoop, it was a crutch from the window. Now again, some voice was coming. Right? Window mein se kuch boys aare thi. So, Mahendra, that cat, kitten looked at uh, him upar dekha. He had just, and what the cat was doing, kitten was doing, sharpening his, means uske claws se sharpening edge ko, coconut shell ko, yu yu sharpening kar ra tha. Right? What he was doing, 
with his claws he was sharpening the coconut shell again some awful voice was come what a weird sound if mridu was startled mp punai was frightened out of his wits he was standing on the end he bounced up and squirmed towards a bamboo tray and red chilies that had been set out to dry trying to hide beneath it he tipped a few chilies over him ah he howled miserably now what happened some crash crash this type of voice was coming from the window so the kitten it was frightened so what he tried he tried to hide himself right uh, uh red chili tray was there behind him under the red chili tray chili ki tray rakhi hoti uske niche usne apne aap ko chupa liya aur apne upar chili se dhak liya right the greeting went on and on what is that noise said mridu and this crunch crunch noise was coming so mridu asked why this voice what's this voice is like where from where it is coming that's lolly learning to play the violin now what this uh, ravi said that lolly is playing violin she will never learn a thing the music master just go on playing like a train whistling on and on while lolly is all the time derailing going completely off track and now what he said the lolly will never learn the violin because music master just go on go on playing like a train whistling train apni city bajate bajate jaati rehti hai jaati rehti hai isi tarah uh, music master bajate rehte hai violin and lolly unke piche piche karti rehti hai but so she will not learn any thing aap hai 